Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Hawks. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton, and we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And on the hill, the big righty, number 17. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. And That's another ball. ball. And he beats it. He's safe. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. Here's Shohei Otani. Runner on the move. That's to third, and that chance handled. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Sometimes early errors can be just as costly as errors made late in the ball game, but you just don't know it at the time. Second batter of the game gets on base for free, bringing up the number three hitter, so We'll see if they can take advantage right here. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Double steal. And fouled off. On the ground a second. Might be two. There's one. On the first double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. The batter now will be Will Smith. Gets the outside corner with that one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. That misses the zone, and the count's full. Max Muncy in the on-deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. And the Dodgers score first. It's one zip. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now it's Max Muncy. Close, but called a ball. And it's 2-1. and one. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Smith off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Flopper to right field, way back, gone. A gigantic blast. His second home run of the series, and they add a couple more. It's 3-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off.
So two down. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Two outs. And the one two misses to even the count. Goes down looking. That funky Muncie with the homer for LA. It's now 3 0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in the Bronx. And the right hander with the good curveball, Bobby Miller. What's the scouting report on him? Well, you know, this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. Ball. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. And a foul ball. Out to short. Betts. Fires over to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Let's take a look at our lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ball and a strike. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. And now the DH. One one now. Foul ball. The one two. Two and two. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Two two now. <laughs> Struck him out looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher no, set up is three. where he threw that no, pitch. And five. probably fooled the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. And now the first baseman. And the right hander deals. And he blows that one by him at 100. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Second inning set to go. And at the plate for the Dodgers, oh. James Outman. 2 1. That one fouled off. and misses it's a strikeout very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play you don't even have to get a hit at that point you can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time kicks and fires and ball another count. ball our plate umpire Freddie Ferguson One down, base is empty. Fights it off, you'll see another. And a pitch. Caught him looking for the K. 
back to back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row. Yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing him where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. One ball two strikes. That one to first, and that chance handled. He steps on yep. the bag, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they're on top by a count of 3 to nothing. Back now in the Bronx. Here's the left fielder, Kondo. Strike two. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ballgame. That one misses two and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Throw on to Freeman. One up, one down. That exists. The right, the right fielder. fielder. Number 61. Now it's the right fielder. And a strike in there. The Dodgers leading by three here in the third and final game of the series. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Wouldn't chase that time. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. And here is... That's a hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. And the throw's offline. Safe at third. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So they're at the corners now, and here's the rookie catcher. Out towards left center, Hernandez ranging after him. He's got it. One attacks from third. He scores on the sack fly, and it's now a two-run game. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Here's the second baseman. Two outs. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We play two full. Dodgers out front, three to one. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Now here is Mookie Betts. Next offering is downstairs. You know, these no Dodgers what? doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special yeah. stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two on the way. Broken bat, and it's popped up. And there's one down. Now back. Designated hitter. Show me. Ohtani. Shohei Otani up to the dish. And the righty deals. And oh. another ball. Two balls, one strike. The wind and the pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that knock bumps his hitting streak the into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 right, right. straight. 
Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. One down. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Righty delivers. Shohei on the go. The pitch. Rudder goes again to the right side. He'll do it himself. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Now the catcher will Smith. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And he deals. That yeah. pitch gets the inside corner. Now what a two. Runner at second, two down. Here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Good eye in that spot. Here comes a pitch. That one the other way. And a base hit right there. Here's Otani flying around third. He'll score easily. It's 4-1. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner at first with two away. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Ball. That misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Left-hand hitter waits. No, that's down. Ball. Teoscar Hernandez waiting to bat for the Dodgers. And that's a strike. Got a full count. On the ground to the left. That's and it goes just foul. Two outs. The other way. And that's just foul. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Kondo ranging back. Makes the catch up against the wall. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in New York. And yeah, the batter now, short. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. On the ground to short. Betts whips it to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now the number two hitter. There's the strike. One down, base is empty. Struck him out looking. Well, just excellent location on that inside no, fastball. No, no. Really locked no, him no, up. No. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called the ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Now it's the DH. <laughs> Next offering is in for a strike. And that nope. just misses. Two, two. Next no, offering is. is down low. Full count. The 
pitch. Warning track. Wall. And you can catch them all, baseball man. A massive home run. His fourth home run of the season. It's 4 2. He absolutely crushed that wall. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew he wasn't coming back. Sometimes it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case, it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. And next will be the cleanup hitter. The pitch. And he chases a high fastball there. One, two. Righty to the plate. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And that one finds its way through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. The center fielder, number 33. James. And at the plate for the Dodgers, oh, James Outman. 2 1 now. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Swinging, he chased the changeup, and that's the first out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's Jason Hayward. And a pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One and two. Just Ball. misses. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And here it comes. Down and the there's a ball. Hernandez, the base runner at first with one out. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. That was blasted to the moon. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-2. That one just sounded different. Man, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. So one out, nobody on. Nope. Gavin Lux now at the plate. That one pushed foul. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Still only one out here in the inning. Ground ball, left side. Throw to first yeah. is in time. <laughs> Now it's Mookie Betts. That 
Boyd finds the zone. One and two. And a pitch. In the air, left field. Condo settles under it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. Two-run shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now 6-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, Kondo. And that one wrapped foul. Struck him out without a swing. Fastball to letters, froze him for strike three. And now the right fielder. Left hand batter waits. And a bunt towards third. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. This was the perfect spot to drop the bunt for a hit. I mean, he used his bat as a tool up there to direct the ball exactly where he wanted it to go and look smooth doing it at the same time. Really well done. And the defense right there stood no chance. Now the third baseman. The pitch. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw. Save. You don't usually see teams try to claw back into games by being aggressive on the base pass like this, but it's still early in this one. This kind of tells me they're going to try to tackle this one one run at a time instead of waiting back for a big three-run homer. Bounce to third. Muncy. Yeah, they get hey. the out. So up next, K. And a 1-1. There's a strike at the knees. Just missed. The next Down pitch misses, and it's three and two. Popped up right side. Lux gets under it. And that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. We're headed to the fifth. Dodgers lead it six to two. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's a big power threat. Shohei Otani. That one two in the one. dirt. Two and one. That one oh. missed. Movement in the bullpen. Number 48 up and throwing. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. I love how he tracked the ball right there and was able to get through that fastball just a little bit late. Otherwise, it stays fair. I think if the top hand is a little stronger, same swing produces a home run. Condo calls it in, and there's one away. Freddie Freeman, the next to hit. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a oh, low 90s oh, fastball, oh. and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. That's in there. That is strike two. The pitch. And he chases that one. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Dodgers go down quietly. They lead it six to two. Back for more from the Bronx. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now, number 99. And that's inside, off ball. the inside edge. It's two and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Nick Ramirez looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Trying it. Also getting ready. This one in the air. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, short. That's off the mark. Two and one. Kicks and fires. Slider misses outside. One out, base is empty. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. And a good oh, eye that's there. The ball, that's the ball. Best ball for a strike. Three and two down. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time, just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Bobby Miller gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Righty reliever out of the pen, Nabil Krizman. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. And next is the designated hitter. Inside just missed. Two balls, one strike. Kicks and deals. That's the ball. Three the one. Dodgers leading by four. Last half of inning number five. That's ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Right-handed reliever. Bounce to the left side. Muncie sends it to first. That ends the inning. Excellent work out of the Dodgers bullpen there. Five innings complete. LA is on top, six to two.
We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, number 48. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Righty delivers. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. Two and two. And down on strikes he goes. One up, one down. Up next. Here's the, the left, left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one's gone. That'll fire up the dugout. Third home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 7 2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. And the pitch. And fires in a fastball at 95. Here comes a pitch. Not two even close two. there. And the count is two and two. Action in the pen down there. A right hander is up and throwing. One down, base is empty. Hey. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Out. Number two. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, one. at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. Next Fire. offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Just no. misses oh. with that one. Full count. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very out. aggressive secondary Second lead. Base. So ball down the line yeah, yeah, yeah. or into the gap yeah. will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Two and one now. That's towards center. Moving under this one. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's seven two. You're dialed into the show. Back in New York, and here's the first baseman, number 25. The 1 1. Foul ball there. Swings and misses, struck him out. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile no up. His confidence no level problem. has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Boot, get back on track. His team needs him. And the batter down, Kondo. Swing and a miss. Two and two's the count. Base is empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering misses down and away. 
Full count. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And the righty deals. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The bat. The bat. Number 64. 64. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. Three up, three down, inning over. Back at Yankee Stadium, new inning getting started. Now at the plate, Mookie Betts. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two, two. pitch foul ball another 2 2 upcoming battling here as he fouls it away at the belt and fires and they'll do it again. And you another ball. Count. Payoff pitch. Got him swinging. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Yeah. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. And now, Shohei Otani. The pitch. Up the middle. Gets it to first. And two away to start the seventh. The first base is number five, Freddie. So digging in, Freddie Freeman. Two down, nobody on. Base hit. Well, he waited until the seventh, but that's the knock that'll extend his hitting streak. Singy, how much does it weigh on your mind when you're coming to the plate in the late innings with a streak going? Yeah, quite a bit, and a hitter's supposed to say he's only focused on the current at bat, but man, honestly, it's hard not to know that if you don't come up with the hit, your streak's over, so it's there, at least in the back of your mind. And now, Will Smith. Freeman off of first with two away. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. One left for L.A., but they're still on top, 7-2. to two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Lake Trinan. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Digging in, number 24. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. That's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two, two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2-2. Two, two. 
good job to fight that one off. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And a pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And here it comes. Still two and two after the foul ball. And downstairs. And he walked him. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Now here is A. Right hander kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. And another wow. ball. Movement in the bullpen. Nick Ramirez appears to be getting loose. Nobody out. Runner at first. Check swing on the 2-2. Appeal to first. And yes, he did. Jill McDonald rings him up. Now it's the second baseman. The pitch. Ball. Two and one. And he deals. Breaking three ball one. inside. And that's ball three. Kicks and fires. Got it by him for the K. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the center fielder, short. The Dodgers leading by five here at the bottom of the seventh. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. Righty to the plate. Not two close two. with that one. Ball two. Two outs. Bows it back with two strikes. And he can't come up with it. And that extends the inning. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The bat. Now Number it's the shortstop. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. 
Hernandez. Bringing in the lefty with a left handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Here comes Max Muncy. The one two. Bounced up the middle. First out in the top of the eighth. Now back at left field. Teoscar Hernandez. Next to hit, Teoscar Hernandez. On the ground to third. Two up, oh. two down here in the top of the eighth. Now back at the center field. James. Two outs, base is empty. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. I don't wear no cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a clean house. Do you think that Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Nick Ramirez. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. And now the DH. And uh -oh. another ball. Oh. Left hand hitter waits. And that is in for a strike. Two and two now. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Ryan Brazier, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Grotterol warming up as well. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. To first, you know. and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. The Good bat. late bite on that Double slider, bat. got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it, exactly what he was supposed to do. And now the first baseman. That one ripped. Hernandez, drop step, going back. Go To back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous in the dish right now. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you don't, we will get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Base is empty, one away. Kondo digs in now. and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball pitch after pitch and that at bat and evidently there was no answer for it. That missed. That's the ball. Just missed. Two down bases empty but one run across here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater, but not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 7-3. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Yogi Matsumoto. He last pitched two days ago. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 
The 1-1. One, one. And Two, that one. skips into dirt. That one ripped, but foul. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Base is empty one away. You're at the top of the ninth. This one in the air. Moving under it. Makes the grab. Two down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up the in the zone right there. The Hitter looked, like, looked like he was deep. on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Popped up. In position. Squeezes it. And that is that. So they make short work of them there. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. Dodgers lead this one 7-3. to three. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Ryan Brazier. He's pitching on two days rest. Here's the third baseman. his second hit of the day and it gets by him around first heading for two and he'll pull into second safely nice line drive to the pull side met it out front but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield opportunity for him. Runner at second with nobody out. Left hand batter waits. That's the ball. That's yeah. in there. And that is strike two. On the ground, right side. One out, bottom of the ninth. Now, Here's the second baseman. Muncy. And they're down to their last out. Now, So the lineup flips over. Here's the center fielder, short. Right-handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Runner at third, two away. That to right, on the move. He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers win the rubber match of this three-game series. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home, 
feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum, but at home, you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. 7-3 is how this one ends. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now.